Here's how you can record 4K resolution at 120 frames per second using the Intel Arc P580. So you see my gameplay over here. Move my mouse inside the game. Clearly you can see that it's recording at 120, but my gameplay I'm at 300. Ideally if you want to get better quality, you want to be streaming and gaming at the same frames, 120. I'm just showing you this demonstration so I can record the NVIDIA control panel. Let's dive deeper into this video, shall we? So the first thing, here's my OBS settings. Now it's very important to have that rate control, CQP, put it at 15, balanced, main profile, keyframe interval, zero, latency, zero, normal, so zero. B frames zero. This is going to be for your recording output. When you go to your video canvas, make sure it's at 4K resolution 3840 by 3840. Your fractional frames per second value should be 120. Denominator one. This is so you're recording it at 120 frames per second that I was talking about. Let's dive a little bit deeper, shall we? These are going to be your event settings. If you want to put your render, direct 3D11, color format NV12, color space sRGB, SDR white level 307, color range full HDR nominal peak level 1000, this is mostly for stream. Let's go a little bit deeper. This is what the Intel Arc setup I have looks like. I do have a water-cooled Intel CPU as well with it. If you look over at the Intel Arc, it's plugged into the first PCIe slot so that I get the faster bandwidth. The Elgato capture card is plugged into the second PCIe slot. Make sure your motherboard gives them both plenty of hmm, lanes. This is what my uh, group looks like right now. So if you see right here, the first slot is plugged into the monitor at the very top. The Intel Arc is actually plugged into the monitor so that I can look at it. The bottom slot, this uh, HDMI cable that's plugged into the Elgato is connected to the NVIDIA 4090 that I'm gaming on. This is what my NVIDIA 4090 looks like. As you can see, that first HDMI cable that is connected to the Elgato. The cable on the far right, that is plugged into my 240 hertz 4K OLED monitor by Alienware. This is uh, the full view of that 4090 build. As you can see, the 4090 is plugged into the first PCIe slot. It has a water-cooled i9-14900K. Well, hopefully this video helped you so that you can record your own videos in 4K, 120 frames per second. It's very important also that your Intel Arc graphic settings you don't have low latency mode. You need to keep that off. Fame shrink. You can put an application controlled FPS limiter. You can keep that off as well. Here's my configuration right now. I have the Intel Arc B580. The processor is an i9-12900K. Both are up to date as well. You can look at the driver version. 32.0.101.6989 is very important. You need the latest OBS drivers. You need the latest Intel graphic software drivers. For this configuration, I have GPU tuning off, VRAM tuning off, fan and thermal tuning. If you want to look at my metrics right now, I am recording using 36 watts of electricity for my GPU right now. And my GPU is utilizing about 10%. And this is while I'm recording that 4K 120 frames per second on this screen. So it's pretty cool.
it's not using too much electricity to do this recording compared to my gaming device that's using over 350 watts on the GPU. It's also very important that you keep your display settings, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling off, variable refresh rate off, optimizations for Windows games off. If you have those settings on, you are going to have some issues recording with your Intel Arc B580. You will also have issues with some of your other software recording. Even an NVIDIA GPU trying to record 4K 120 Hertz may have some issues if you have these settings on. So keep them off. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps some of you guys and share the link of your videos in the description. If you make a 4K 120 frames per second video, I used the video game New World Eternum just to showcase the gameplay and wanted you guys to get a feel of what the 4K 120 frames per second video could be like. Anyways, have a good day. Please subscribe.